Well, I was born in Togo, and I speak three languages, so I'm going to be using them all in my piece today. Um, it's called, Am I Too African to be American, or Too American to be African? Yes. Okay, here we go. People love black people. People love black people. Latinos love black people. Asians love black people. White people love black culture. We all love black culture. But black never met more than skin color to me. Not a kinship nor a friendship with yourself or with anybody else. Doesn't give me the leg up when the world's put its foot down. Doesn't give me a leg up when the world's put its foot down about me. I don't love you because you're black. I love you because I am a black woman, forged at the hands of a black man and by the love of a black woman. But what do I know about being black? A small girl, plucked from civilization's birthplace. Most days I awake wishing for hollow bones and feathered wings to fly back home, but I know that the unpaved road the mango trees and the cemented ten by tens by tens ain't home to me no more. These lungs have too long breathed the American air, this mouth too far accustomed to the food, this tongue far too departed from its native speech. But my burden is that my journey has just yet begun. I still do not understand why curious eyes follow me, pupils darting from my mouth to my nose to my unkept hair and back down. Why questions like dull, rusted spoon carve into my understanding of self daily? Why confusions master face when I speak? My soul refuses to carry the weight of the hyphen they've hung on my back. Is that what it means to be a black woman in this world? Born with your hands already molding, your heart already nurturing the next generation, raising your head with all of its kings and curls that create patterns so intricate that it is its own galaxy, just to be told that the only crown that you can wear is that made of thorns. I will not listen. All right, so you gotta tell me, what was the inspiration behind this? What made you wanna write this? I think that um, I've had a lot of trouble defining myself in the black community, and I think that being born in Togo, moving here to Chicago when I was eight, a lot of the dialogue was like, oh, you don't know what it means to be black. Like, you're not black enough, like, you know? Because um, I went to Catholic school. Like, I've been around white kids all my life. Um, so I think being able to define my blackness and you know to like kind of like take it back for me is important because I I meet people all the time who are like yeah I don't hang out with black people because I don't feel like I'm black enough I don't feel like I belong in those spaces and I'm like if you're born here do you say that what do I like what do I have to say <laughs> you know like what can I show for it but the reality is that like we are all one community like it doesn't exist without all of us you know like working in it and like you know like loving ourselves in it and through it and like supporting each other so like for me, that's what it comes from. That's real. Um, and you said you moved from Togo when you were eight to Chicago. What was, yeah. if you remember, what was the biggest thing as far as transitioning to the States? Like, what was the biggest, I guess, difference or something that you had to, you know, get adapt to here as opposed yeah. to being back in Togo? I think it's, in terms of race, in terms of my poem, it's like understanding that, like, because when I grew up, everyone that I knew was black, you know, mm -hmm. like my parents were black, like my teachers, my enemies, my friends, like everyone is black. And so I never, like, I never compare myself to other people and I'm like, oh no, just because you're white, you have some sort of advantage over me, you know? Um, and I think that like realizing how kind of like staple that is into our culture was a really big shock. And the yeah. fact that like people look at you for being different and then when you don't act the different that you, they want you to, then they like, look at you different for that too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, so that was 